noche sueñé con tu hermano. Es un film sobre la reconstrucción de una familia y how much people need to escape forward from painful memories in order to keep uh, living. And I think it's a film about the anxiety, ansiedad, of not being able to stay and do the process that things requires. The story that I am telling is related to my own family and I believe that in this family the very like emotional stability was settled and ruled by the women. Suddenly this man appeared. Probably she is the one who less want to catch him but the whole family like the mother and the mother-in-law They also believe that, well, suddenly a man appear and it's something not to miss. ¿Qué es esto? Grecia. ¿Conoce Grecia? When somebody asks me about the title, I say, well, it's a poetic figure uh, related to the photography that the, the incident light or the re reflected light. I like the idea of the light that is revealing something that happened like the accident and the incident could be related to the accident. But I like the idea of a light that is coming to a subject or to someone. I used to say like an urgent need for the first light to come after darkness. Honestly, I never meant to make a statement about an era and about a 60s society, not even the Argentinian society. I all the time was focused on the behavior of the characters. In that point, it was a need for me to understand the context where they live because they behave is pretty much related to that moment. Nowadays, this can sound very like prehistoric, but back in the 60s, even is not that far away, the idea of a well-functioned family and a healthy family and a successful family is pretty much related to a complete um, photograph, if you want to say, of having a father figure for the race of the children. Yo estoy enamorado de vos. Que seamos una familia. I'm a very austere filmmaker. I put a frame and then I start to take things outside because I don't want nothing to distract me uh, from what I need to feel in that scene. And basically I like the films as a spectator or films that you have to complete yourself, that you have to fill the gaps. Sí. When I finally meet the main location of the film, which is an apartment, I start to make this 133 within the frame of the 185, like having her like uh, frame it by the walls or by the doors. And I start to feel that this give to the image some pressure because the space was reducted by the doors or by the door frames. And I start to find that this really make a, a good mariage with the story. I like very much to have the reference of the other one while you do a conversation. And I always frame with the reference character and my DOP. Uh, which is a great camera and a, and a good friend, um, all the time proposed me to make like shorter takes without the reference, 
or double takes uh, in terms of having both on the same frame completely to have options for the uh, editing. And I tried, but I really couldn't make it because uh, I don't feel it. And uh, I was a little worried because I start to say no to everything. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I, I, I really take him aside and say, really is not something against you and your propositions. It's, it's just I can't feel it. And he says something that really uh, relieved me and make me smile because he say, don't worry because uh, your limitations will become your style. <laughs> All the scenes in the script were heading like uh, 3 p.m. in the afternoon, 3 a.m. in the night, because I felt that the, in these calm moments, when the kids are sleeping, she found herself again alone and again caught by her loss and her pain and I wanted somehow to make this film happen in those moments of loneliness and silence. We are living in times of 5.1 uh, surround systems and, and everything, and I really don't feel that this film uh, should have it. This film should sound uh, like mono and the whole sound coming from the screen like in center it. You always make a film for somebody. Uh, we have to find out who this somebody is when we are doing a film, because there's always a somebody. Uh, could be a girlfriend from your childhood, could be your brother, could, could be a, a friend, or someone who is already dead, doesn't matter. There's an existence that it makes this feedback communication even is there or not. This film was a need for me. In the night when you're going to sleep and you're a child and you're trying to understand why your family gets spread and how you can uh, process that, this was inside me for a long time. And even more important of having doing this film is to f having finished this film. Really, it's like a sense of uh, let things go. And in that terms, it could be a way to... Uh, keep away from therapy. Who can be interested in a film like this when the particularities are so specific? Who can be identified with this story? That was really my, let's say, my biggest fear. And I am pretty much amazed that uh, lots of people Evidentemente ninguno de los dos quisiéramos estar acá. <risa> <risa>